This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. It has been nearly a year since I reviewed my Royal Exclusive Dream Box and I wanted to provide an updated review to pass along some new insights and observations. I had been using my Dream Box for about a month and a half when I did that first review, so at that point my system was brand new. As a reminder, the sump is 74 US gallons and is 59 inches long and 23 and 1 half inches wide and 13 and 3 quarters inches tall. Along with the sump, I purchased a Bubble King Double Cone 250 skimmer, which included a RD3 speedy pump, two Red Dragon 3 speedy pumps, and two Royal Exclusive Media Reactors, a 2 liter and 5 liter reactor. My overall impression of the sump has not changed. You get what you pay for, and this pricey unit has been worth every penny, in my opinion. I love the fact that it is all self-contained with each component designed to work together. In my earlier review, I mentioned that the dividers between the filter socks are not removable and that is probably the biggest downside I have seen over the past year since it is hard to clean out all the detritus that can get trapped. Every couple of weeks I found it helpful to siphon out what I could reach within each of the three compartments but it is tight in there so it is not optimal for cleaning. The Bubble King skimmer is a powerful skimmer and has done a great job for me. It took me a while to dial it in so there was a bit of a learning curve. One thing I didn't realize is that the outlet pipe of the skimmer has to point towards the end of the sump towards the baffles and the two return pumps. The skimmer will likely not function properly if this is not the case and the instructions that came with the skimmer did not mention this point and the fact that the outlet pipe rotates. Perhaps it is obvious, but it doesn't hurt to state the obvious when performance is potentially impacted. One other thing I should mention about the skimmer itself, you need to make provisions for any potential overflows into the sump. There is a drain line in the cup that can be connected to a waste collection device you can put next to the sump, but this can still overflow. It will just overflow onto the floor versus into the sump. There are waste collection devices that can be connected to a controller to shut off the skimmer pump when an overflow occurs, but these are pricey. What I did was add a do-it-yourself float switch to my cup that was attached to my controller. When an overflow occurred, it triggered the float switch and turned off my skimmer pump. In total, this setup cost me about 40 bucks. This saved me a few times, so it would be nice if Royal Exclusive added this type of option to its line of skimmers. Perhaps this is in the pipeline. The RD3 speedy pump that drives a skimmer is adjustable and that is a huge benefit since you can control the speed to optimize the skimmer's performance. A drawback is the price of the pump which makes it tough to keep a spare on hand in case something goes wrong. The same is true with my two Red Dragon 3 speedy return pumps. They are expensive so buying a spare is costly. It's a challenge to find a cheap alternative for any of these pumps since they have been customized to fit the skimmer and dream box. Yes, the pumps are extremely well built, efficient, deadly silent, and perhaps the best DC pumps on the market. So the chances of a failure are very, very remote, but stuff does happen. In my prior review, I also mentioned that the fittings for the drain holes leading into the sump come as either metric or US fittings. You Yankees out there should make sure you request US fittings. Mine came with metric fittings and it was a bit of a drag getting the proper US fittings. The media reactors have really made my life easy. They are easy to remove and clean, and the separate valves are great for adjusting the flow for each reactor. Overall, if I had to start from scratch in terms of a sump, skimmer, return pumps, and media reactors, I would take the plunge again and buy the Dreambox setup. Yes, there are some drawbacks, but the pluses in terms of the quality, reliability, and ease of use far outweigh the minuses. There is no perfect solution out there, but this setup comes about as close as to perfection as you can get. Just a quick reminder that you can view my live HD webcam on ReefBum.com. Use the ReefBum TV nav button to get there and to visit my HD video page. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted to new videos on my YouTube channel.